so this here is a nutrition label from the back of a jar of pasta sauce. And what I want to look at today is the sugar content in this. So if we look down here at sugar, we'll notice that there's three grams of sugar per serving in the pasta sauce. Now that doesn't mean that there's been sugar added to the pasta sauce. What we need to look at in addition to how many grams of sugar are in there are the list of ingredients. So when we look down here at the list of ingredients, we have plum tomatoes, imported olive oil, fresh onion, sea salt, garlic, fresh basil, crushed chili peppers, black pepper, and oregano. So all of these things are good ingredients. These are all things that we can pronounce, we can say. Um, they're all things that we've heard of before. Nowhere in this ingredient list is there sugar. So you might be asking, well, if there's no sugar in this ingredient list, how come there's so much up here? And now this sugar is coming from those tomatoes. It's a naturally occurring sugar in tomatoes. If you were just to eat a raw tomato, there's going to be a certain amount of sugar in there. So just because it has sugar up here um, doesn't mean that, you know, it's not good for you. You could still have it. It's just a naturally occurring sugar um, rather than having an, a sauce that has sugar added to it. You do need to be careful because some pasta sauces will have sugar added in addition to the naturally occurring sugars. So make sure that when you're checking out a nutrition label, you're not just looking at the, the content up here, but also at your list of ingredients.